what's the crack? Today, I'm going to be talking about my experience seeing Bam Margera live. Bam Margera came to Dublin on the 6th of July 2014. Me and my friend that I went with, uh, we were actually talking to the merch guy and had no idea that it was actually the guitarist and he was saying to us that him and Bam literally made all the t-shirts in Bam's house. Okay, I'll put it this way. The gig was a disaster in the best way a disaster could go. They had an opening band, it was some thrash band that was from Galway. Me and my friend were uh, like 17 at the time. It was an over 14s gig. I'll put it this way, we were the youngest people there. There was like one group of people, it was like two, say like 14 year olds, there with their dad. And aside from that, we were the youngest. At the over 14s gig, we figured, hey, Jackass is pretty big. I thought there'd be tons of 14, 15 year olds here. Nope. And of course, naturally enough, them being who they are, the opening song for Bam's gig was Brandon Novak uh, coming out naked. No, sorry, not naked. He was wearing a fedora and a scarf. And he was introduced as Pill Collins and he started singing up in the air tonight, right up until the <laughs> That kind of sets up how the show is gonna go. Needless to say, them two 14 year olds were dragged out by their dad. You know, Bam, Bam had like, he had this cool presence, you know? I mean, I, I have a feeling that everyone was really fucked up at that gig. Musically, it was kind of a disaster. Um, I don't remember hearing a huge amount of bass. I remember the keyboards being way loud. Um, I do remember hearing a lot of songs that I didn't know, which was cool. Cause you know, they covered songs that later I found out were like by Clutch. They played some Turbo Negro songs. They played a couple of originals that I knew. And I don't think at this time that they had released the full album. I think they they had still just released an EP, which was like four songs or five songs. You know, it was a disaster. Like they had this other guy up there, this like Australian or New Zealand dude who I never heard of. He wasn't, I don't remember hearing him on the album. I don't remember seeing him in interviews, but he was just up there sort of singing with Bam the whole time. So, but you know, then after like halfway through the gig, he like jumps off stage and starts trying to grope as many women as he can possibly find. He eventually climbs back up on stage and, you know, sort of lies down for a while. I remember about 20 minutes in, Brandon Novak just sort of sat down, still naked, just drinking out of a bottle of wine on stage. So there was a few, like, kind of depressing parts to it. You know, I met Jess and, you know, I love CKY, so, like, obviously I'm going to know who Jess is. And Jess was such a sweet dude like he was a really nice guy i don't know how long that picture of me and him was my profile picture on facebook he was just so chilled out i can't say that bam wasn't a nice dude because we didn't get to talk to him basically what happened was they played the show there was you know some mishaps some missteps the show was fine at the time you know we were 17 it was super fun the girls that we were talking to bought us drinks, which we were not allowed to do at the time. So we were like, fuck it, we're having a pint. And we were having fun, and then the show finished. The security dude just sort of starts shouting at everyone, okay, it's time to get out. It's time to get out. And it's the Voodoo Lounge. It's not like this, it's not like any of these big venues. The Voodoo Lounge is just a pub. So we just kind of stood there and moved back to the merch table as if we were supposed to be there. And eventually everyone cleared out. There was maybe like 10 people left in the room. And we were like, okay, cool. We might get to meet the band or something, unless there's like a back door, but whatever, we'll, we'll chance it. We'll see what we can do. I see Bam like walking super fast, like as if he's rushing and he has two security guards. My friend goes to high five Bam and the security guard just elbows my friend in the face. And it's like, dude, you won't let him stop for like two seconds so that he can high five a fan. It's like that. It's like he must have had some seriously bad experience up to that point with a fan that he just won't let anyone like high five him or talk to him or touch him or get in a picture. But 
there's another way to do it than just having a security guard elbow a 17-year-old in the face. Then behind him came Brandon Novak, who I must say, no amount of security could have helped that man. He was floored. He comes out and he's sort of, he's dressed now, thank Christ, and he's sort of like walking like an old man that doesn't really know how to walk. You know, these there were like three girls in front of us, um, they tried the same thing as me and my friend, like just hanging back, and they just like said, oh my god, get in a picture, and they got in a picture with him, and you know... It was cool, but he didn't really... He literally looked like he just sort of turned around and fell back into one of their arms. And then they let go of him, and he, like, turns around to go to the back exit. And as he's doing that, he's literally this distance away from me, where you are. And I said, hey, Nova, can I get in a picture with you? And he legit just doesn't even... Like, he's, he's, he's dead. And... He, like, tries to walk a little bit, and I just sort of, Novak? And I just, like, pat him on the shoulder, just to say, like, yo, dude, can, can I get a photograph, please? You fucking junkie. And he, he fell over into the bar. Okay, so I'll put it this way to you. The music was fine. The onstage presence was slightly sloppy. The nudity was gratuitous, although when Bam got his wife on stage to flash everybody, I wasn't complaining. Although it was before he paid for her new boobs. And I was 17 and naive, so it was fun. So, I'm not going to tarnish those good nostalgic memories by being logical about it. If it wasn't Bam Margera, and if it wasn't Jess Margera, then I would say that it was awful. So do with that information what you will. But I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. I'll talk to you later.